Okay, so I'm having to stir this quite regularly now because I'm slightly worried it's going to burn on the bottom of the pan. So we're, we're stirring away. It's still not, I'm just constantly checking it, but it's still not actually at temperature. So the idea is to get it to 82, too very specific, 82. 180 degrees Fahrenheit that is for the old old guys and uh, then I can take this off. I just want to get this done now. I'm bored of stirring milk. Oh the steam. Right. Still not there. We're on 70. I don't know how critical this is. Not far, not far. Harry's dying to do an interval with soldiers so when we get this to temperature, we can have a little break for half an hour. No, but we got to tidy up first. Okay, so that's, that's pretty hot now. I can hear it bubbling away. I'm going to give it one last shot on the thermometer. Let's see how we go with this. That is really shooting up now. Can we get to the Magic 80? I think we should be able to. Oh, the steam. Yep, we have hit the magic 80. Oh, here's Jack. That's big. All right. I thought it would be up to about there. Yeah, we've got a big pan. So 80 we can degrees. Make cheese. Well, it, I don't know how much this will end up as cheese. Not a lot of it. It'll separate it out into curds and whey. Stir. Yeah, be very careful. It's really hot. Give it a good stir then. Oh right down gosh. the bottom. Good family team effort of cheese makers. This is weird. Yeah, it is weird. It's not like milk anymore. It's no. Like... Well, how would you describe that? It's like it looks like milk when you look at it, but then if you stir it, it feels like, not like rock solid cheese, but like... It's got lots of bits in it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right, we're going to take it off the heat now, so it says, and we're going to leave that for 30 minutes. So let's have that on the timer. Stop. Okay, put the lid on the pan, it says. Done. Lid on. Let's come Done. back in 30 minutes. Meanwhile, you're doing an interval in the, with your soldiers, aren't you? Harry soldiers. Harry soldiers. Let's go and have a Let's look. Let's have a battle with me. Okay, so the boys have been really busy setting up in here. We seem to have a mixture of a railway track and a battle scene here. Ger is this Germans? Who's Germany! Ger That's Germany, is it? England. And this is England. We got a mixture of tanks all beat up as well. Look, the tanks there. Oh, that's England. Hang on, this is England. This, why is the tank in half like that? That's supposed to be a tank slash machine gun. Oh, okay. So, are you starting now? Okay. Do you want to start your battle. Yeah, Look at that man there on the side of the tank there. It was very well set up, isn't it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I said it all. Wait, do you want me to stand back while the battle commences? Yeah, I might be Three, Okay. Two, one, boom. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. I'd fire up. Well, quite violent this game, isn't it? I don't know that I'm do you? I think I preferred it when you used to play with farm toys. Right. Fire in the arm! There we go. So we've got a battle going on in here. These, Fire in the these two, these two I, I'm going to leave these two to destroy the lounge. My poor wife always has to end up getting to tidy it up. It's quite a battle getting to that. Fire in the hold is Harry's favourite word at the moment. Uh, how are you doing, Jack? Oh, good, I'm beating. Ah, right. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. Probably all ending in tears. We'll be back to look at the cheese in a Dad! minute. Ah! Okay, the countdown is going. We've got 31 seconds till our half an hour. I've got my cheese cloth here, muslin cloth. We'll wait for that beeper to go and then we'll just check in here. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, let's have a look what we've got inside here now. That looks very 
hot and steamy still. It looks like it has. Oh yes. I'm not entirely convinced this is what I'd want to eat. Hmm. It's certainly not what I thought it would be. It's right. Anyway, I'm going to put that, I'm going to strain that into a cheesecloth in a minute. The muslin, and then we'll have a look at it. Right. This is cheesecloth. Somehow, I don't think I need all that. Do you think? No, I don't think That's a lot, that. isn't it? Look at that. And it's sort of like you can see through it. Can you see me? <gasps> so the idea is that that is a very fine mesh and that it will strain that. I'm not sure whether to fold that up or just to put one layer of I'll that. I'll fold it in half. You fold it in half. That's Jack's genius. Okay, we're going to put it on the colander. So I should fold it four times. How about that? Right. So what do you think? So we're going to pour the liquid in here. Let's have a look. That liquid there. In so through here. Huh? See if it's perfect or? You're going to give it a stir. Mm. Still feel quite milky. It's lots of bits, isn't it? It's tiny little bits. Right, I think I'll have to do it a bit at a time. Do you want to video that? Okay. Because it's going to be too much in one hit. Right, what I'll have to do is... Right, you ready? Three, two, one, go! Right. I'll leave that to strain. Gradually going down, isn't it? This is going to take a long time. There's going to be a lot of cheese in this. You think so? How long do you think that's going to take? Maybe I should have done one. Maybe I shouldn't have put double thickness like that. I think you should have put oh, it in half. I think I probably should have just put one lot. Right. I think you should have folded it in half, Dad. Okay. <laughs> Jack's just thinking I should have folded it in half. I folded it four times. He never listens to me. Do you ever listen to me? Yeah. That's not Fine. true. You don't listen to me ever. Do you? No. No. Okay. So. Oh, it's not even going down anymore. Right. This is another fine mess you got me into, Stanley. Okay. There. Jesus. How long is it going to take to go through all that though? Ages. Because it blocks up the mesh as soon as you do it. So I shouldn't have, I should have just used one layer. I think you should have folded it up. Not four. Bit of a disaster really. So it's going to take ages for that to drain through there. Whoops. Oops, easy. Okay, plan B. We, I've cut the, um, I only put one layer of, of cheesecloth in now because it was just not going through the, the, um, the cheesecloth. Let's see how we get on with that now. Let's hope that it goes through the cloth better now. Can't go through worse. A bit of a cough there, Jack. Really shouldn't smoke those cigarettes. You actually watch what you're filming? Yeah. Right. It is going down a bit, isn't it? Look at that bit of cheese. Mmm, cheese peas. Can you hear it? Let me just lift this up and you can see underneath. Ready? Very slow though, isn't it? This is the problem with this system. Perhaps you've got to leave it a long time. I have to go to work and leave this um, filtering while I'm at work and then come back and do it in the evening, perhaps. I don't know. How long does that take? Got a lot of cheese to sort out. Okay, so plan B, I've resulted to doing it for a sieve as well because I'm just getting not on very well with this cheese cloth. What an absolute nightmare this is turning into. And this looks like porridgey mush. Hello Jack, what do you think? That's just some like... cheese. No. Is that meant to be cheese then? Well, it might be eventually, by Christmas next year. We're getting the way out of it slowly, but it's just, oh, just not Annoying. going very well. Annoying. It's more like... Annoying. Leave it alone, enough. leave that alone. Just don't touch it, all right? Football, though. Good. By the time you're back from football, I'll check on this it. This will still be the same. I'll check on it. Mm. Nothing's coming out of this one. Thanks.
Oh, what? I saw. That's true. It's a disaster. <laughs> okay, so I basically I've poured all the contents there into the sieve and the cheesecloth now. And Jack has one word to sum it up. Disastrous. Yes. It's just not, it's just not going through. I don't know what to do. I'm going to leave that dripping for quite a long time and see what happens. Right, the kids have gone off to football. I'm going to go off to work now. I'm leaving this behind. My thoughts are, I think, you know, realistically a lot of cheeses, they use a cheese press. I've got a cheese press, so I wasn't planning to use it on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to hopefully drain over the afternoon while I'm at work. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just wring it out through the cheesecloth and we'll see what we end up with. It's like all good things, you know, don't always come right at first and it's a bit of a trial and error situation, but um, we'll end up with something even if it's just a bit to spread on a cracker at the end. Okay, cheers cheesy boys. Okay, so I'm back for work and actually it's quite a good thing that I left the cheese like I did because I've come back to find that a lot of the uh, whey has come out of the cheese. Look at this. So when I left this, it was all quite um, wet and runny. Now, it, it's gone quite solid. Look, this one, I haven't... Look at that. There's still more water in it than I think I need. Look at this. Let's have a look. Look. So there's the whey, and this is the curds. Now, it smells very cheesy, kind of, I think... I'm going to take this out of here and try and wring it out and then I'm going to put it in a bowl, put it in the fridge, see what they think when they come home. This, let me just tip the whey out of here. It looks like very skinny skimmed milk. So, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm just going to pick it up. Give it a bit of a squeeze. Oh, look at that, it's just come through the cheese top. That hasn't worked. Mmm, that, that's really nice. Excuse my um, crudeness on that, it's actually really quite yummy. It doesn't look very appealing, but it is alright. Right, so that didn't really work very well. I think I'm going to put this in a bowl. This is probably as good as it gets unless I do a cheese pressing. I'm sure my wife would have a better idea of what to do with this than I have. It is a bit like porridge. I don't, I don't think I've got this quite right, but hey ho. Let's just, yeah, I'll, okay, let's recap when I've finished sorting this out. I think it's going to get messy. Cheese everywhere, Gromit. Okay, I'm back. And this is now my ricotta cheese. Can you see that? Let's have a closer look. I'll just put the camera down on it. It's actually... Ooh, the camera's really going down on it. Um, let's just... If I zoom in... Oh. You can see what it looks like. It is a sort of texture of wallpaper paste. Now I'm wondering whether that has set or something. According to the thing, it actually gets better when you put it in the fridge. It's a bit wobbly wobbly at the moment. I don't think I've strained it quite enough really. It's got a very milky taste. I, I don't think it's got a massive load of flavour in it. I'm going to stick it in the fridge. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it quite. This has been quite a good experiment. I think... Um, Certainly from my point of view, what I would try and do is do a different sort of cheese. God, that's heavy. A uh, different sort of cheese next time. I don't think it'll be the last time I do a cheese, but it would be a while. This is... And it's like all cheeses, I think they get more flavour with age. So I kind of think I'll just stick that in the fridge. I'll get, we'll get a verdict on the kids when they get back, see what they think. I'm sure... 
I'm sure they'll put their noses up at that. But for my first attempt at a cheese making thing, I think that's all right. We've got the basic kind of almost like the raw ingredients, I think. I think there's still a way to go before we actually make something really good. But hey, room one built in a day. Okay team, are you ready to try the cheese? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, Harry? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it's going to be good, Jack? I know. Neither mm, do I. Right, let's go. Cheese o'clock. Mmm. What do you think? Still, um, still a bit of whey in it. What do you think? I, you know, what's this cheese called? Ricotta. Now, what do you know about ricotta? I know nothing. Well. Does that look like ricotta like to you? Sort of. Yeah. Doesn't look very um, appetisingly nice. well, presented. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Right, try Slopped a little. In a bowl. Uh, well, I didn't know how to do it. Harry, you didn't even <laughs> try that. Take a little bit out. Right, let's, let's, you can be the unbiased. <laughs> it's going to be the best. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, what, it, it's right, fine. let's see if you try it. It, it does taste right. It does taste right? Yeah. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Very creamy, isn't it? Hmm. It's good. What do you think, Harry? I, I, Harry, <laughs> I didn't even touch the That's surface. good! <laughs> you rubbish, you are. I'll try a bit if you don't try no, it. No, I do Are it. you going to try it properly? <laughs> oh, you got a whole bowl and you can't even get one bit on your spoon. Come on, oh, just dip it in. Mind. Oh, Harry, this oh, is painful. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Right. Oh, don't no. Don't eat all that. <laughs> just try a little bit off the spoon. Harry, come on. All right, okay, I'm going to try a bit. Come on, spoon, come on. Right. Mmm, right. Is the size of that? Mmm, it's all right. I'm not, it's very creamy. Actually, it's very creamy, isn't it? Mmm, it's because you've used mm, whole milk in it. Mmm. Two whole Would you flavour that with something? None. No. No. Mummy, you... This is it. Mmm. And that's meant for what? Things like pizzas, you say? You, uh, you can have it on pizza, mm. or you can use it to make... Um, Certain puddings have got it in. Mm. You can he's have it in cannelloni, stuffed in cannelloni. He, he used two whole Italian bottles. massive tube pasta. Oh yeah. Stuff it in that. Mommy so would that be quite expensive to buy? Milk. Um, depends where you get it from, really. Well, that's good. Well, that's cost us. That's um, two two liters of milk. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I think you could do that either sweet. Or sour. Yes, it can. It, you could put some syrup in it or something. You, you can. It can be used in recipes for sweets and for mm. right. savoury dishes. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think I'd say that's a success. I'm quite pleasantly surprised. What is it like underneath? What is it like underneath? It's exactly the same. I think it's sticking up a bit since I put it in the bowl. So, thumbs up. Can I have a thumbs up, everyone? Thumbs up, Harry. Cheese. Harry. Harry's not a cheese. cheese. <laughs> Oh, Harry. <laughs>